super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, and Sam Adina for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulus the Lie Apocalypse Now mod. So last episode was loads of fun. Uh, we had a mini grace come for us. We had a mutant wolf and a ton of radiators and stuff. So this mod, yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be hectic, but fun. I have a feeling we should really not be looting at night time. But uh, we're so early in the game, we have nothing else to do. Let's see if there's something up here. You be careful, just now there's a vulture. I want to actually put this mod over here quickly that we got last time. Um, basically, every shot you give a zombie, I wonder if it stacks or if it keeps just going, going, going. Basically, say for example, you hit a soldier in the head with, uh, with this thing a few times. Every time you hit him, you do more damage because his armor rating protecting him goes down. That's that. Remember that I thought it was like a monster or something? It just seems like a tree with different shaders. That would have been bad if there was like a, a monster that big early game. I think it would be fun, but also very, very, very bad. Okay, so we're going to keep on going over here. I want to clear out the whole town while we're doing quests. I don't want to just focus on quests. Oh, that might be a mistake though. So let's just see how well we do. I need to be careful of more boars and pigs and stuff. Heck, there's still a killer bunny. Oh, no, Killer Bunny, I see the bunny just now. Killer Bunny is the mod creator. Um, there's still a killer chicken out here. So I want to try and see if we can't possibly face... Oh, there's a bee over there. I want to see if we can't also see if that's still... Uh, that's supposed to still be in the mod, I think. A, a chicken that kills you if it gets you. The first time I ever tried this mod in Alpha 19, for those of you who have been following my channel, um, that's how I died. Killer Chicken. I was like, what the hell is an invisible zombie? Because I didn't look down, so I didn't see anything. Turns out, nope, it wasn't any invisible monster or anything. <laughs> it was just that damn chicken. I definitely saw a bee or something in distance. You be careful of that actually coming closer. These bees can do some serious damage if you're not careful. Yeah, what is this? Just in the middle of nowhere. Oh. I just woke up a big boy. The nice thing is you can actually shoot them with a shotgun. Like cripple them. And then with a bone arrow you can just finish them off. As long as I don't kill him. Okay, I should be able to kill him now. As long as I don't kill him with a shotgun. And I finish him off with a bone arrow. It counts as a bone arrow kill for that quest. Why does that keep happening? I keep getting them down to 1 HP and that's it. I wish that 1 HP could have been 0 HP. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm wasting a ton of bow and arrows, right? Oh, well, I keep saying bow and arrows. I keep wasting a ton of arrows. There you go. Okay, let me just quickly check how much do I still need to do over here. Quest, no, quest over here. Engineer, wait, what? Gather engineer class book. I'm gonna have to see if we can't craft that. Hunter, kill three more zombies with a bow, and then need to gather. Hello. I need daytime for that because it's so invisible sometimes you can't really see it. It's at least almost morning because breaking through that safe took me forever. It's safe at quite a bit of a hit points just now. Oh. It's nice with Feral Sense off. If Feral Sense was on, that attack just now would have woken everyone up. I see your head. No, oh, I would have shot the gold block just now. I wasted my arrow. Okay, a little bit higher. Oh, bye. One more. Please, wolfies, stay away. There's no arrows over there. I want to get my arrows back as I'm going through this place. Oh, crap. Feral, 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 feral. Feral businessmen. Yep, see, they run. Barrels are still the real threat right now. And if I miss, which is usually me, <laughs> it's so easy to die if you're not careful. It's weird how those gunshots just now didn't wake up the zombies in the building right next to the gunshots. Although I should really not be complaining. I mean, I'm alive, aren't I? But see, the problem is now it's uh, nighttime technically still until like 30 minutes later. So, there's going to be way more ferals and stuff just chilling over here. There's a guy over there in the distance as well. Uh, okay, let's just go this way around. 
Heck, with this Piro, I might even have a ton of ferals in there, so I need to be super, super careful. We do have at least... Drink this. At least we do have... Damn, there's not enough space. Uh, the Molotov on us, so we can easily kill a stack of zombies. But we need to get away from the ferals first before we even chuck it. At least you can hear the footsteps of zombies coming closer, so that's cool. I just need to make sure we don't run out of stamina while doing so. Otherwise, the zombies will be able to get us. Okay, so these doors should be open. Yep, that's unlocked. Just need to kill one zombie. Then I don't have to worry about bone arrow and stuff anymore. Okay, I'm probably doing something really dumb by clearing a place first. Technically, it doesn't matter which mod you play, you should always, always, always clear out all the zombies and then start looting. Because one, now I'm encumbered, so I can't even run away from ferals. And two, um, yeah, a wandering warden stuff loves surprising you while you're busy with stuff. So if you're inside a POI, now you're full because you've been looting stuff and you can't run away. How are you going to get away from a wandering horde? Especially at Darkest Falls wandering horde, all those demonic zombies and stuff. Come on, give me something good. As you guys know, I don't like cutting out the looting and stuff because I want to prove that I, just now I cut away and I get something really cool. And that's what, that's my biggest fear because I don't want people thinking I'm cheating. <laughs> um, and to those of you new to my channel, it's just that's the way I play. I always make sure that any anything I loot, I loot on camera. Um, I have in Darkness Falls, for example, come across like a axe or something off camera, but at least I'm not using that thing. I was like a purple axe, steel axe. And I was at least only using the... You can tell me there's going to be a ton of zombies. At least I was only using the... Um... Oh. Uh, okay. Um... I might just have to run out of here. If I can kill one of these, I can run. Hello. Come down. Come, come, come. There you go. All of you right here. Oh, some of them sounds like they jump down there. Okay, my bike is far enough away. What I want to do quickly is do this. Oh, and oh, I thought just that he's close enough. Now I just have to use my knife, and I've already used my bone arrow, so that's cool. But yeah, um, I always, always, always will mostly loot on camera. Sometimes when I loot something off camera and it was an awesome thing, I just throw it away. If I can't prove that I got it or how I got it. Okay, need to kill you first. Make sure that's not a wolf over there. See, we do need to kill 10 zombies with a knife, but these guys are all heavy hitters. That makes me think there's something cool up there. The fact that all of these guys are tough, even the radiated lady in between. That means there should be some really good loot up there. Okay, I need to keep my eyes open for allopons as well. Man, with all the shadows and stuff, it makes it kind of hard to see some things. But I like playing with the shadows and stuff on oh, no, it's awesome. Okay, you're the guy that was walking around at night time, but you shouldn't be feral anymore. If you were. There's a set of corpses over here. I should probably also grab all of the leather on the way out, but I'll cut that part out. And then also wrench the TV patch with some scrap parts. I can kill you with a knife, we can just start focusing on not worrying about the weapon. I don't even know which class requires a knife kill. I think it's the hunter. As last time I played this mod, there weren't any classes. So it feels so weird to all of a sudden have to worry about classes and what unlocks what. But now it's a proper overall mod. It used to be just a mod, if that makes sense. Now it's a proper, proper overall. Okay, um... I wonder if there's still zombies over here. Oh, you got... Oh, crap. At least you're not a feral bird. If you had flames on him, it'd be feral. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But this is not the POI I was looking for. Damn, all of the loot over here that's supposed to be is gone. But now it should be on that side over there. That's up here. The fact that the zombies are spawning in so slowly really bothers me, though. It's so easy... Oh, three shots left. It's so easy to accidentally run into the next floor and then all of a sudden the zombies spawn right on top of you. And there's no loot. What the hell? 
There's supposed to be an insane amount of boxes over here on this POI. I know this is a burnt version of it, but I mean, look at the amount of zombies that we have. That was so not worth the effort just now. Is there something on the roof, perhaps? Nope. And this is made out of wood, right? Yeah. Damn, this POI was nerfed like crazy, and that was definitely not worth it. Usually there's either six boxes or eight boxes over here, military stuff, or there's boxes on this side, and this time there's nothing. That was a major bust. But you guys, I'm just really gonna strip this room, and I'll see you guys back as soon as this room has been stripped. Okay, are you zombies across the road? Yep. Uh, I'm still gonna try and kill with my knife. We can actually switch the bow away, because I'm, I don't really use the bow that often. The only times I really get it, uh, use it is when I need to get a zombie from a distance. Okay, and we're also gonna have to drink some steroids before we keep on moving. Unfortunately, we are encumbered right now. Just quickly get the loot over here. It might be something cool. If we can get some more duct tape or glue or something like that, then this will be worth it. And then... Oh, is that another mini grace? Yep. And they're aggro, guys. So we need to be so careful with these mini graces. They are aggro and they're walking around all over. So if I hear a pig grunt, don't look, just run. I'll probably try and kill it, but it's going to come up the stairs and then we have a problem. As long as it stays over there, it shouldn't be a problem, but we need a proper iron gun. At the moment we have scrap iron weapons. Well, one crappy quality shotgun, so that's kind of good, but we need a proper, proper shotgun or uh, automatic AK or something. Because if we're going to take on a grace like that, or some explosive arrows or bolts or something, that could, that could work as well. Okay, I know you can get more for scrap or using these in the forge, but I need space. I am going to use the steroids anyways, but I do still need some space over here. Better than what we have. Thank you. And what else can we do? We might actually be able to make some proper arrows with that, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Oh, wow. Out of shotgun shells over here. So what I'm going to do is this then, and only lock five slots. Damn. Okay, um, it is day four now at least, so luckily the trader should be reset. Hopefully I actually have some stuff we can actually use, because at this stage, we are a little behind. Hardware store. I know this one. I should probably just pick up my bike, but now we have stuff on the bike. There's something at the back of here. Uh, the reason I say pick up my bike is I need to run around to be able to see the aloe. Hello? Um, basically, guys, if you're driving on a bike or a minibike or something, sometimes you can't see aloe and can't see stuff on the floor. But, if you were to go and run around, you're walking slower, you'll be able to see the, as the plants pop into existence. Need to be careful of pigs. It's all the way over there, but it does look like it's getting closer and closer and closer. Um, I do want to get all the wooden stuff out here. It's easier for me to go for these stacks. Where are you? Oh, there you are. It's easier for me to go for these stacks than to go for trees. Uh, because tree, oh, a tree might actually give me a ton of resources by now. But it's just sometimes these uh, these resource deposits give you way more. I definitely need to kill that pig. It's going to drive me nuts. Hello. Yeah, come for me. You're not feral or anything, right? No, you're a normal zombie though. Hit the door. Open up. I just realized we don't have a club or anything to knock them down after I bleed them. Because I was using the different weapons for the quest, I took some of the weapons off. I need to put back the club with a spike mod on, I think. Because that's going to save us some ammo if we don't constantly have to shoot some zombies. That pig's getting closer and closer and closer. And it can break through a door so easily if you're not careful. I only have three shotgun shots left, so that's not really going to help us all, all that much. Yeah, any other loot over here? I know sometimes there's a dog upstairs, so I need to be careful of that. Other than that, there shouldn't be any tough things over here that's going to drive uh, drive me to death. Okay, we should probably also go and wrench all of these tables. Let me just get this on hand. I think I should kill the dog with this. Depends on the POI. Sometimes there's no dog, sometimes there is, so we have to be careful. Let me just take care of this as well, because this alerts the zombies. It's weird how you can fire a gun, they don't wake up, but as soon as you step on one of these things, all of them wake up. 
It's just you. Might be a friend in here as well, so be careful. Yeah, easy it is to play with the zombies. All you have to do is open, close, open, close the doors. Ah, he's trying to get in here. Okay, so if he gets in here, we have a problem. Let's just do this because he's going to come up the stairs over here. And as soon as he comes up the stairs, we have to go and try and shoot him with a ton of shots. At least I do still have three shotgun shots. Oh, as long as he doesn't come through there. Don't come through the window, please. Oh, there's a VR. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's going to break this so easy. I should be able to use just one Molotov now. There you go. Okay, yeah, so the pig over there that I thought was going to be a threat was actually a threat. It came all the way from over there just to kill us just now. I don't think this place is done yet because it seems there's something we can go through over here. Already there, there's nothing. I'm just glad he didn't come up over there. I'll reach the place after we're done with it. Just make sure. Oh, I just used so much, sh so many shots just for that dude. You know, if I can melee them, I'm gonna melee them. Oh, that door led led to this room. Okay, as long as I don't run out of stamina, we should be able to do this easy. But I do need to pay attention though. If, as soon as I see something that's not supposed to be there or that's not gonna be good, book it. Okay, where does this lead to? Just outside and down. Okay, there's a roof as well. I think, yeah, we're definitely going to go and strip this place afterwards. So the nice thing is I can actually cut away as we're stripping it. Oops. As long as zombies from outside can't get me while I'm in here, we're kind of safe. I didn't drink the steroid yet, right? If I can get through this POI without drinking the steroid, it's going to help us tremendously. Okay, water for stamina, scrap stuff as well. The chairs, I'm just going to scrap because we need the wood anyways. And then the food. Oh, no. Oh no. I was just about to say I haven't gotten the sentry yet. And then bam. Okay, this might actually be a nice melee weapon to accompany this one. And my food's not all oh no. No 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 no. Um can I eat this? My food's not all the way zero because of the sentry. So I'm gonna just have to quickly run to the base because I'm gonna lose HP now. Oh no 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 no. Please. It gives me food at least, so at least I, I can just get to 10% and clear this place quickly. Damn it. Okay, the sentry is really bad. Basically, you just got the shits. Damn it. And this is nuggets. Please don't give me more to sentry. No! An hour long. I'm gonna die. Uh, no, I don't have any water left. Damn it. I'm gonna have to drink this now. Okay, yeah, let's go to the base then. I can't afford to hang around here now. We have to first go heal ourselves. Damn, this is bad. I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it to the base. Because my stamina is so low and I am encumbered right now. This is really, really, really bad. Damn it. I swear, if I die from the shit, I'm going to be so mad. Um, okay, uh, let's see. I need space first. I'm going to first probably eat and drink. But I don't have any proper foods. Uh, I might be able to make myself some ba uh, bacon and eggs. Just eat that. That doesn't give the sentry. See, the nuggets are 25%, but they give you... Oh, it's frozen nuggets. That's why. Oh, the cake. Yes, the cake's going to help me. Nice. And then I need some uh, goldenrod tea. We should actually be able to quickly make some goldenrod tea over here. Please tell me I have the recipe, or at least have enough points for the recipe. Goldenrod tea... Junior Chef. Please, 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 please tell me I have it. Junior Chef, Junior Chef. Uh, to the first screen. Junior Chef. There's no via. I have two points. Yes! Oh, the sentry. Nice. Now I'll be able to do that to heal the sentry. I don't, I don't know if there's any medicine or something that can actually heal me as well. I need to really, really explore this mod a bit more. <laughs> to die from something like this would be so dumb. Okay, um, at least we have some health stuff over here. I don't think there's any medicine for, the, for it, right? Cure disease, cure fatigue. I'll just take one anyways. And then I need to start dumping stuff over here as well. Guys, do you know how much of these cans I've been eating and stuff? Before I started the episode, 
I pulled up on cans. No problem at all. Now all of a sudden. Wait, is there a quest that requires me to have eggs on me? Farmer. No, it's not the farmer. Hunter. Kill any animal. Need four more. Hello, leaf. Miner. Okay, I need to gather scrap uh, clothing now. And then gather red generic notes. I need 25. Bacon and eggs. Okay, I need that actually for a quest. There's a zombie down there. What I should probably do is just do this. Because they can go through a hole over there. Um, yeah. Basically what I need to do is place a frame up there. So that if the zombies decide they want to come closer. They first have to break through the frame before they can get to me. Because these frames over here already block them. But over here, I need something like this. Come on. Sometimes the hitboxes on some of these things are so weird. Okay, uh, but yeah, we need some bacon and eggs now as well. What do we need? What do we need? Just fuel. I'm gonna make as many as possible right now. So that one, we can actually drink one of these to help us with our dysentery. Yep, that, I think I cured it, right? It's busy curing it right now. Yes. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was so dumb as well. Oh, okay. So we need ammo and stuff. We're gonna have to sell to the trader then. Set any kind of mod goes over here. And then tools and stuff. But the weapons and ammo and stuff go over here. Um, what I should probably do... Do we have some gunpowder? I can make myself some more 9 more rounds. Or 762, depends. Let's see, 9 more. Tool and die set. Okay, I don't think we have the tool and die set yet, unfortunately. We'll see if the trader has one. We need a tool store right now. If we can find a tool store, most of our problems are going to be resolved right now. Okay, so put that away, put that away. Uh, scrap that. Technically, you want to scrap that as well because that is clay. Farming goes down here. And then food and water goes on the top. Farming and then boom. Okay, yeah, guys, that was really, really close. Unfortunately, I had to come all the way back here just to make sure that the sentry didn't kill us. That would have sucked dying from something like that. After surviving so much uh, dying from that, <laughs> that would be so bad. Okay, um, we only have... Oh, wow. We have very, very little ammo left over here. That one we can actually put away for now. Technically, I should put that down outside a door when I'm busy clearing a place. Because that should slow down zombies. Okay, I can take this as well. But I don't think it can fire it, can it? Oh, it can. Oh, I love this mod. I don't think normal um, Tim Day Salai allows that. Okay, we're going to eat. Just eat. Uh, fill up our food and water over here. See, we, didn't, we really need to start focusing on like proper foods and stuff. Ah, uh, no. I need more fuel over here. Thank you. Turn on. Okay, let me just see what these quests actually require from us before I keep going. Yeah, the cloth fragment, padded clothing and stuff. Ooh. I can make all of this, but it's going to be such a waste. I need to make scrap gloves, helmet, chest piece. Um, yeah, we don't have any scrap armors over here. I can easily make it, but it's still a waste to make them right now. Okay, so if I do that and I make some duct tape on me, we'll be able to craft that. We do need, I think, some leather. What else? Okay, iron. We have iron on us, right? No, I don't think we have iron. We're gonna have to. Need, we're gonna need iron to be able to make that. I think the iron's over here. No, we smelted most of the iron, didn't we? Oh, nice. We still have two hundred sixty. We only needed two fifty. That helps us out tremendously. Okay, so what I need to make is some armor. Uh, pad it first. I'm gonna need more duct tape. The chest armor we need, and I think the gloves we need, right? I need to first see which ones we still need. Scrap. Chest, gloves, helmet. Uh, oh, that's the padded ones first. Yeah, okay. Helmet. Leg armor. And what's the ne next one that needs it? The gloves. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna need more duct tape now. At least not that much, because we only need to make the... Helmet, gloves, and chest piece. Helmet. Uh, yeah, helmet, gloves, chest piece. Yes, cool. So then we're going to complete those quests as well. But now I'm just going to put the clothing away. You never know when you're going to need it for something else again. Uh, that pitchfork is a weapon technically, so we'll put that away under the weapons of here. More zombies just chilling outside. I need to be so careful of all these graces and stuff spawning in. I think so far I've been lucky that it hasn't been anything worse, right? It does have this bad, bad feeling that there's way worse stuff in this mod. Can't put that away. This. 
Oh, oh yeah, I wasn't wearing a chest piece. And a... Oh, nice. But to, to focus on stamina, I might actually want to replace them with a padded. But then if I take care, I'm dead. Okay, we do have some storage stuff on us. That I might have... You know what? I drank water and got a sentry again. So if I can do this... And put these on my other armor pieces, that's going to help me so much. Uh, do we have the spikes for clothing? No. I think it's just a darkness full thing. There's a thing that looks like spikes, but not the spike mod. They can go on the chest piece, so if a zombie hits you, they die from spike damage. Or like, uh, they impale themselves on you. And that is fully mod- no, that is a size 2 already. This one, yeah, I'm not going to put that on, on yet. Okay, we're going to put that away. Food and water, we need to make sure we are completely full. I am losing water every time I eat one of these. But at least if I can drink one or two, I think I should save this or carry this around in case I need to eat something bad. Probably just take the food and water with me. Pistol, don't know why I put the pistol in there. And then water. Don't have any normal water left. So I'm going to have to go and make myself some. Is there water close by? Well, there might be a fire hydrant, but I don't know if it works. I think it's an alpha 20 thing, right? Where you can fill up on fire hydrants. But for now, uh, at least as long as we can get the five water, that's fine. So we'll put you in there. It's 40 seconds. Yeah, that should be enough time. Okay, so now we should have everything ready. I just want to make sure we repair all of our stuff over here. So repair, 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 repair. This one I want to repair, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it because I don't even have shots for it. And since I don't have shots for it... Uh, we put that over here. We have some 9 more ammo over here, but not enough, right? At least 6 shots, but it's better than no shots. So this one's reloaded. This one needs to be reloaded. It's going to empty that, and we can move everything up. Obviously, the more you have on you, the more encumbered you are. But unfortunately, we need as much stuff on us as possible. Probably make some more frames as well, because it's going to come in handy. So we need 30, no, 40? 4. Well, you feel sick. Oh, the, the, okay, that's war off. It only cures a certain percentage of the sentry, only 20%. I'm going to have to drink one more to make sure that it fully cures my sentry over here. Hopefully it stacks, otherwise I just made a mistake. That's 50, uh, we can actually drink all the water. I'm going to take all the empty jars with me. And then just make sure we ga gather more water and hopefully we come across more drinkable water. At least we do have these two on us, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, now, the trader has reset, so we should probably check that out. I put the two points into Junior Chef over here. Also, guys, I could have sworn last time it was just this. But now, if I look over here, there's more. But I'm guessing this is from the fact that these are now unlocked. Oh, I need to go fetch that. Where is that? Right there. Yeah, then we can go down to do uh, to complete that quest or that uh, building down there. Okay, the, the sentry should uh, wear off soon. Uh, water, that should fill me up almost close to 100%, so I'm going to leave that. I think I have everything now, right? I do need to make sure that we don't have perhaps more cash and stuff over here that we can sell to the trader. But we have better than that. I need to sell stuff. This is going to sell for 35, not much. Don't sell that, John. And these sell for 10. That's not worth it. Okay, the, no, but I'm going to need a um, mini mic soon. And I just have this feeling if I sell that, we're going to need it. Watch. Okay, I never use this one. This goes on a bow and arrow. And then this one I can just well sell. Modify, we put that on the bow and arrow for more damage. And then we sell these three over here. Now I want to see, this is 35. If you modify it, it does sell for a little bit more, right? But only 36. Whereas they sell separately for way more. So it's better to sell them separately than to sell them together. It's a good thing I checked just now. Okay, so we're going to sell one, two, three. And damn. Choices, choices, choices. At least we are going to get more cash. He just reset. But I also need to think, Horde Knight is coming uh, coming up as well. So I need a place to stay. And I think I'm going to have to rely on my Molotovs to get me through it. Frying pan, 762. Contact grenades might be really, really good. Especially for Horde Knight. At least, yeah, I have until day 7 to buy more of that. For now, though, I need ammo. I need stuff to be able to... Oh, what's that? No, that's going to be too expensive. That's 375 just for 50. Red notes. I do need like eight more, but it'll loot for them. Forge, chemistry station. That is expensive. We might actually need it, but at this stage, nope. 
Uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't think I need anything over here except for like the explosives and perhaps the ammo. But I wonder if I should just first buy the ammo. And I'll then as now. soon as we have more cash from doing the quest for the trader, we'll come and buy the rest. Okay, this, yeah, we're full on water. So I'm going to put this away. The sentry should be cured all the way now. Although if I drink it now or while I'm going, I can get more jars. And now that I have this on, we don't get the sentry when we drink. This does give you... Ah, uh, I don't have murky water left. I want to see if the murky water does give you um, something or not. Okay, so we need to go for that drop. Because I want to see what the drop has to offer. Okay, so it seems pretty peaceful. I want to actually check whether the bunnies can also kill you. If there's like killer bunnies in the game as well. Okay, let's see, let's see. Please, please give me something good. Give me something good. Grab iron spear. Ooh, now I don't have to make myself one. I would have made a level one. Repeat, that's awesome. Bunker buster can go on my pick over there. An iron shovel, nice. Shotgun ammo, you gotta love that. Shotgun ammo. Uh, we'll put that over here. I need to lock some of this as well. We'll scrap that. It's out of ammo. And a proper hunting rifle. Scope. Oh, this was a nice box. This was a really nice box just now. Uh, I'm gonna test this. How far can this reach? Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna be using this. And if I do a power attack, she should bleed as well. Guys, okay, spears are actually really, really OP. But does this throw... Oh, this is dark, like Doctor's Falls. You don't throw it. Nice. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please do like and share with your friends. Comments and tips and feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, Please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Apocalypse Now fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them and supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.